Welcome to Peak Hadan Atos CTO for Security and Michael Grunberg, CEO for Atos North America to Dell's Navigating the Road to Cyber Resilience. Welcome, both of you. Good morning. Good How are you, morning. Rob? An afternoon, <laughs> as it may be for uh, Tafiq. But, uh, you know, it, I think this has been a great uh, event that we've been doing with Dell. And I, I think one of the things is bringing in the partners and really the excitement about understanding what's going on. And from your perspective, you're out there talking to tons of clients and customers every day about cyber resilience. And I, I think that is the key is to share a lot of those insights that you're taking in. Uh, but before we kind of dive into that, Michael, why don't you kind of give us an overview of who Atos is and why is it relevant from a cyber resilience perspective? Yes, yeah, certainly, Rob. So, um, so Atos is a global managed service provider. Uh, we've got um, uh, about five and a half billion dollars of revenue. Uh, we're um, a significant player in the infrastructure space. That's our core competency. In terms of why cyber resiliency, cybersecurity is important to our clients, obviously, it's it's uh, every client I speak to today is talking about the security of their environment. So it's it's you know, business critical. Um, there's not a conversation I I don't have that uh, that topic comes up. And as you know, it's a it's a constant battle, right? It's an evolution in terms of the sophistication of uh, cyber attacks and ransomware attacks. Um, so we've got to evolve our capabilities to adjust and adapt to uh, these uh, the evolution of these types of uh, of attacks. So it's a Constant, constant topic for uh, the XCOM uh, here at Atos, and as well, a uh, constant conversation we're having with our clients. No, that that makes total sense, and I think that again, it, security is so top of mind, especially when it lands you in you know one of the major news outlets or something like that when something goes wrong. Um, but I, I think a lot of people are sitting there going, okay you know, that's great, but I'm looking for to understand what the outcomes are and what can I expect. So Tafik, why don't you kind of uh, dive in as you deal with security on a day-to-day -day basis uh, and, you know, really counseling a lot of your clients, what is it that they can expect from an outcome perspective when they're doing a cyber resilience project with Atos? So I if I may summarize the essence of uh, collaborating with Atos on a cyber resilience project, in a single sentence, it would be Atos provide uh, an adapted and effective solution that aligns with the unique context of the customer. So let me uh, um, elaborate on what we mean by adapted and effective solution. First, we uh, customize the solution to enhance the customer's security posture, leveraging our deep understanding of the cyber traits. We align the solution with customer specific uh, risk landscape, enhancing uh, uh, their defense strategy by either using their existing uh, cyber uh, security risk assessment or conducting new ones. Uh, then we fine tune the solution to meet the, the customer unique needs, addressing their distinct business goals, continuity plans, disaster recovery processes, and the IT uh, environments. We ensure then that the solution integrate seamlessly with the customer technology, infrastructure, architecture, enabling uh, them effectively to operate. Uh, in a responsive of uh, uh, the dynamic nature of cyber uh, regulatory, uh, ensuring outgoing or ongoing compliance. Uh, additionally, we cater to the maturity of uh, the customer. Uh, this is key. We provide our customer uh, solutions that both modular and scalable. This is really important because we we see in the market that all the customers are not running at the same speed. So uh, this is getting possible because or thanks to our uh, cutting edge partner uh, solutions. 
Uh, ultimately, the effectiveness of our solution is evident. Post project has it significantly enhanced security posture, mitigate uh, a lot of uh, residence, residual risks, and strengthen all other aspects of uh, uh, the customer cyber resilience. And we make a huge difference between resilience and cyber resilience. No, I, I think that's. I think you hit on a really key topic is that everybody is in a different place in their journey from a cyber resilience perspective. From that, how do you really approach cyber resilience planning and implementation when clients could be in so many different places? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Uh, at Atlas, our approach uh, to cyber resilience is twofold. Uh, encompassing both a robust methodology but as well adapting to each customer's say, unique niche. We use a standard methodology alongside a broad world run approach, allowing to uh, provide a phased strategy that helps businesses in incrementally build a robust resiliency strategy. Uh, first, our standard methodology involves several key steps. Uh, starting with assessment and planning phases or steps where we assess the client uh, current uh, cybersecurity posture, identify critical assets, and understand specific threats. This phase includes defining the scope of cyber resilience plans, considering compliance requirements, recovery objectives, business priorities, and processes. Uh, and let, let, let's give an, an example for uh, a Dell cyber recovery uh, solution. This would involve uh, designing a secure data board uh, uh, for isolating and protecting critical data. Then comes the implementation step. Using Dell cyber recovery an uh, as an example, this may involve setting up the data board and uh, configuring replication for critical data, for example. Uh, after the implementation, we proceed generally to uh, testing and validation step, ensuring data recovery and system functionalities uh, okay and uh, in, in, in event of a, a cyber uh, incident. We train our employee, IT staff, and the customer employee uh, on the new system and proceed in phasing their role in maintaining cyber resilience. And because cyber resilience requires continuous management, regular uh, reviews, drills, or simulations, and updates to respond to the increasing and new threats that uh, organization and the organization changes, we continuously evaluate and in improve the strategy uh, and, and to, to, to stick with the, with the, the needs of, of uh, such systems. Yeah, that, that, that is critical, and I, I think you hit up on it. I know in France, for instance, uh, and you're probably more aware of it than I am, they, they have that new banking law where the banks and any of the financial services, they ha if they're using cloud, they have to be able to ensure and show that they can get back out of the cloud and operate those services within a certain period of time, which is... I think critical and amazing. Um, but beyond that, what, what are some of the other services that Atos really helps their clients with in cyber resilience? So I, I would like just to add one uh, topic before moving forward to other services. We have uh, an approach that I explained just a few seconds before of the Crown World Realm approach which is an incremental way to uh, and suitable way for preventing our investment, allowing organization to adapt before fully committing to new directions. Uh, and the goal is a, a continuous improvement cycle, leveraging insight from drills, from real incident response to refine the cyber resilience plans. And even to support this approach, we co-create with Dell our customers, for our customers, a unique offering 
based on a, a shared and managed world hosted in our data centers available now uh, in France, in Spain, and uh, soon in other uh, geographies to start small and grow uh, at, their, at their speed. Uh, back to your question, uh, Atos provides with uh, the help of its uh, extensive ecosystem of partners a wide range of services to support cyber resilience for uh, customers, reflecting the increasing complexity of digital landscape. So we know that the attack surface of cyber threats has expanded significantly because of the transition to cloud computing, the widespread adoption of IoT, the rise of hybrid work environment, the increasing use of AI. So companies face increasing risk that can lead to loss of productivity, system downtime, substantial cost of uh, uh, recovery uh, and rebuilding. To, to address all these challenges, Atos offer a modular service designed to deliver outcomes that respond to this uh, need. We uh, provide consultancy services to help build a, a security strategy that aligns with the, the, the cyber risk that our customers are facing. Uh, we, recognizing that data is critical as said, Atos ensure a 24 by 7 data protection that safeguard information against threats and minimize downtime. We provide as well parametric security, in-depth security, uh, all the, 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 the security uh, 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 project that we can find in the spectrum of the NIST uh, uh, framework from identifying to, to, uh, to uh, protecting and uh, with our uh, partners detecting and responding to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, incidents and uh, security incidents and potential intrusion and securing the data flow. We prioritize uh, efficient and resilient operation, ensuring that business can maintain continuously and quickly recover in case of cyber incidents. And thanks to our ecosystem of partners, we provide capability that may anticipate threats and optimize detection and response, minimizing the impact of, uh, of incidents and ensuring the, the recoverability of, uh, of their systems. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a, a perfect way to look at it. I love the whole crawl, walk, run, meet the customer where they are, and having that full suite of cyber resilience and you know partners to go along with that is is absolutely key. And I think that actually leads nicely into a question I got from Michael, which is, you know, why partner with Dell on cyber, you know, solutions and their strategy? What, how does this tie up with what you see? as your strategy for your clients? Yeah, so that's a great question. I mean, it's it's pretty simple answer for me. Um, there's a strategic partnership between Atos and Dell. There's a longstanding relationship. So there's a tremendous amount of trust between the two firms. We've on many occasions aggregated the value uh, from a partnership perspective to many different clients. Um, so it's there's a, a lot of um, experience and, and proven uh, you know, delivery capability there between the two firms. I think relative to cybersecurity and cyber resiliency, um, it's a natural progression for us, right? Because our business, as I mentioned to you, is infrastructure services. So it's critically important that we maintain our clients' environments and protect and defend their environments. So we do have core competency, as Tafik has taken you through around uh, cybersecurity and cyber resiliency. But as, as I've mentioned, the, um, the, the threats are evolving. It's a constant battle, and we need to uh, find strategic partners that can enhance our ability to support, defend, and protect our clients' environment. So with Dell's cyber resiliency, cybersecurity, the, the cyber vault that Tafit talked about, uh, it's a natural complement to our abilities to enhance the security uh, and protection that we uh, that's required by our clients. So it's pretty easy. Yeah, no, and, and I think being a worldwide company and as Tafik was talking about bringing it where you can bring the cyber vault locally in the different geographic areas and really helping support 
uh, all of those other re regulations that go along that may not be necessarily cyber, but they may be PII and other GDPR type related uh, things. So that's, that's fantastic. Well, I want to say thank you to both you, Michael and Tafik for joining me today. It was a pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank, thank you, you very much, Rob. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to roll along live in studio and on demand from our Palo Alto studios. You're watching Navigating the Road to Cyber Resilience, a summit bringing together practitioners, cyber experts, analysts, technologists to explore cybersecurity and resilience. Keep it right here.